Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Taylor. Thank you so much for watching. Kicking off the new vlog, it is Friday, June 30th. It's around 8 a.m. in the morning and we are finishing up the work week and then we're getting ready to do a road trip this weekend for the 4th of July weekend. Normally every single 4th of July, pretty much my entire life, I've spent it at home on the Jersey Shore. So since I'm not gonna be doing that, we're gonna do a road trip. We're going up to like Big Sur, Carmel, Monterey area, which I'm super excited for because that is my favorite area in all of California. So I can't wait for that. And we're going to do one night, our first night, car camping neither of us have never done before and then the second night we're gonna stay in a hotel i can't wait for that we're super excited i'm going to kick off this vlog take you through kind of what we're bringing where we bought an air mattress that we're gonna test out and things of that sort right now it says to get up to big sur it's gonna take about five and a half hours but we are not taking whatever route this gives we're gonna drive as far up as we can directly up the pch i know i think that it's closed in a few places up there just because of the recent bad weather we're going to drive as far up pch as we can which is honestly going to add quite some time to our trip i think it's probably going to make it like a five and a half hour road trip to a seven hour road trip but trust me it is so worth it like i can't wait to show you guys the views they're going to be incredible i'm going to kick off the vlog this is going to be a long one which i'm also excited about and yeah i really can't wait so i'm gonna bring you guys along, show you the sights, show you how we're gonna car camp, show you what the road trip is like, what we do, and I can't wait to bring you guys along to my favorite place in California, and I hope you love it as much as I do. All right, so first things first that we have to do is pack and kind of get the supplies that we need into the car. I, I'm trying to be like super strategic about what we're bringing because I wanna think of everything, even though it's only one night, I wanna think of everything. So, gonna pack for the car, gonna pack for us, have to do laundry. I feel like every single vlog I'm doing, I'm doing laundry, but gonna do laundry, and yeah. It is a little bit later. I had ended up having like the busiest day at work today. So honestly, just wrapping that up now. And then I'm going to take you along because we're gonna do some errands together uh, to start off. I'm at DSW right now. I wanna get like a cute little pair of cowboy boots. I think I said that in here before. So we're gonna go check for that. Then I have to go to CVS, get like some eye contact solution, like sunscreen, nothing fun and then maybe see what snacks they have in CVS for the road trip itself. And then our Amazon package got delivered today. We got our air mattress for the back of the car and then like some little camping stuff as well. Think of anything else. There was one more thing. I don't know, we're gonna test that out, see if it works, see how it works, just so we can be pros at it tomorrow when we set it all up. I think we're gonna do a happy hour tonight. Um, just the two of us, like a little at-home happy hour where we have some Topo Chico's. So I think we're just gonna go into the hot tub. And I hate when people stare at me when I do this in public. I'm gonna go into DSW now. I will show you my findings. I have a gift card, so hopefully that that helps a little bit. That is kind of what's on the agenda. The back of the car, we already have all the seats down. It's really dark. I, you guys, oh, there we go. Okay, it's big in here. It probably doesn't even do it justice, but like, that's a long way back, so I feel like we'll be fine with car camping. So that's what we're doing. I'm trying to get prepped for that. Um, I just have to now kind of scramble to get myself together. I'm back. That literally could not have gone any different than what I was expecting or hoping it to go. They didn't have like, I want. I really want like knee high cowboy boots. They had like mid calf and everything. But I feel like when it hits my, my mid calf, it looks kind of weird. And so they didn't have any knee high cowboy boots. I was hoping for like a cream or tan color. They didn't have those. They didn't have black. So I was like scrambling because I've just, I've had this gift card since December and I've been wanting to spend it and just like get it out of my mind. So I got 
Converse. Literally like the exact opposite of what I was going in for. Got these because this is like the kind of pair of shoe where like you're not like so excited to get it, but you just like want it in your rotation. I've been thinking about these for a while and I've been like, okay, like I need to get them. So picked these up. Nothing exciting. I just needed to like get a new white sneaker in my rotation and I wanted a pair of high tops. So that is what I got. I wish I could say that I got my cowboy boots, but whatever. What are you gonna do? I now have to go to CBS, and all I'm gonna get there is some stupid stuff and um, snacks. We're gonna do the quickest CBS haul ever because I actually ended up getting, of course, a bunch of random shit. So we have needed a re up of my favorite sunscreen beef jerky for the road trip tomorrow. I wanted to try these. They're dried organic pineapple bites. I figured they'd be like a good healthy snack. Two kind bars. We have two of these like um, peanut butter and toast crackers. I thought they'd be just like an easy, they were like a dollar. And then I needed contact solution. I got this one, it's like the spicy mango version of the pineapple thing I just showed you guys. Obviously needed to do a Purell. I'll actually put that in the car and leave it in right now. And then Tums for the boyfriend. So, that's everything I got. That ends my errands. Now I'm gonna go home and probably start getting my life together a little bit and then hopefully make it down to the hot tub in time okay so we ran into ran into a bit of a snafu i guess you could say or a bit of an issue we have this box back there and it has like our air mattress our like cover for the windows um we I got a fan and like some lights and stuff and we just tried to blow up the air mattress in the back of the car and it has a big hole in it, a big rip in it. We are going to go try to get it fixed, attempt to get it fixed, because if we don't, that is a pretty big issue. Or I guess at least just like get a whole entire new air mattress or something like that. So we have to go do that now, which probably means no hot tub, no Topo Chico, which makes me sad. But this is more important. Damn it. <sighs> What can you do? Life happens. We are almost all packed up. We have our clothes in our bedroom and then we just have to finish packing toiletries. But it is around 9.30, so we're going to go to bed. We're waking up super early tomorrow. And yeah, see you guys in the morning. If we could run it, if we could run it back, and do you wonder if we could run it back? about 6 15 and we are going to get on the road in just a few minutes so i will update you once we get some caffeine in this yesterday but we're gonna spend the night camping in the car tonight and then tomorrow we are staying in an inn or an airbnb or hotel okay i think we're staying in an inn anyway we are driving up the pch all day today so it's gonna make our trip a little bit longer than it normally would but the view is so worth it i love this view so so much it's the best drive ever it's so beautiful i can't wait to show you guys that's pretty much the status right now we had breakfast burritos for lunch and now we have some really watered down iced coffee. So hopefully getting better coffee soon. But it is 7.41 in the morning and we have easily seven hours ahead of us. So check in later.
almost five hours. We're going to this, this little town called San Simone because we drove past it on our last road trip and they have the only wild pack of zebras in the United States. So hopefully that we get to see them and show you guys. But the views are about to start getting really, really gorgeous. Um, the sun was out, then it went back in, now it's out again. So we're gonna drive for a little bit. Maybe we'll pull off soon-ish to get some lunch. There's some cows. Yeah, morale is pretty high, I would say. Morale? Super high. Super high. Found myself smiling more. The moment you leave, I feel down again. I talk to myself on the floor just to feel less alone I swear that I'm trying my best You tell me the stress shouldn't be a friend I wonder where I'll end up next on the corner of hope Alright, here's an update for you guys. I'm a little bit changed and put together but we were driving up the PCH and we kept seeing signs that said road ahead closed. Obviously chose to ignore all of that. So we get up to a certain part and it's completely closed. We just stopped into a really cute little cafe and uh, the woman said that it's only closed for about two miles like due to a landslide But because of that like there's nowhere to turn like there's no turn offs like once you're on route one like you can't get off. Like it's one way on, one way off, it's two lanes. We can't take it up anymore, which is a real big bummer. But, whatever, it happens. We just stopped off and had lunch. We had a BLT, my little Coke in a bottle that I love. And now we're going to probably just like take the main highway up to Big Sur and figure it out from there. Happy time! Hour and a half! Road on, closed! On the road again! I just can't wait to get on the road again. My turn. My turn to drive. Just a little hot. Nothing crazy. We're here! for a minute. i let you know when to let go. You give a little love with a little sun Everywhere you go, everywhere you run in. We made it, not to where we're gonna camp for the night, but it's so freaking beautiful here. You make it look easy, I don't understand How you can love me the way that I am You give a little love with a little sun Everywhere you go baby we did it we made the bed we're in the car and we are watching quite a beautiful sunset probably signing off for the night we are going to go find somewhere to sleep and yeah but we'll talk to you guys in the morning and let you know how this whole car camping thing goes because I don't even think we're sure ourselves. So good night everyone. See you in the morning. So hold my hands half for a minute. I'll let you know when to let go. You give a little love. Good morning, you guys. It's 7.30 right now. We've been up for like an hour and a half. Um, car camping did not go as well as we wanted it to. Uh, we're back to normal, as you can see. I'm so freaking tired. It doesn't look like it because shout out Lumify, but I'm really freaking tired. Um, what do I have to say about it? 
Dan was just way too large and we didn't have like the best spot. It wasn't a terrible spot, but we didn't have the best spot, but really Dan was just way too large and he could barely fit in the back. I could have slept fine if it was just me, but Dan was a bit too big. So we got some coffee and we're gonna go take a walk on the beach now. And I think we're honestly just gonna like really take it slow today. We check into our Airbnb soon, thankfully. So yeah, that's the plan as of right now. Just having a nice chill morning because woo, we went to bed at like 11, tossed and turned all night, and then woke up at 6. Yeah. See you guys in a little bit. I'm running on like five hours of sleep for this kid. Three hours. <laughs> Trying to go get some dinner and then we're going to bed so early tonight because we are exhausted. Good morning. It is our last day in Carmel. Well, I guess yesterday was technically our last day, but today we're packing up and heading out. We just walked around town and had coffee and some breakfast, and now we are just in our little hotel room, and we are finishing up, packing up. It's around 10 o'clock, and we have to be out of here by 11, so we're heading home. We're not doing like the scenic coastal route this time. We're just going straight down home, which is going to be about five hours, Um, so I will take you guys along for that, but this is pretty much going to be the last day of the vlog, so yeah, I will update you guys throughout the day but sadly we're going home <laughs> 